prophecy is greater than healing and deliverance because prophecy can bring about healing and deliverance, but healing and deliverance cannot bring prophecy. In the realm of the Holy Spirit, there are many swords. It's not all the time we use the sword of cast and bind. Fire, fire, out, out. Uh, this is just one of the swords. If everything is solved by casting and binding, Jesus Christ would not have to spend three quarters of his ministry talking on parables. Word of God is the one that can change us. Okay. If there is no prophecy for you today, it means that your solution is simply to just read the Bible and go closer to God. That is it. Blessed is the one who is connected to God directly so that even if there is no prophecy, the result is like he received prophecy. Blessed is the man who is connected directly to God so that if he did not receive the healing, the result would be as if he indeed received the healing. Do you get it now? Direct connection to God is the greatest that one can ever hope for, that one can ever achieve. I have said it many times, the Pharisees were connected to God through Moses. This is why they felt being a Christian, be connected to God directly. So this is the, the message for you that will last for many years to come. So if I did not minister to you, look past me. Okay, if you want me to talk to you, you talk to God in your heart. Then I will be able to talk to you. If there's no prophecy for you, if there's no one-on-one -on -one ministry to you, okay, it means that the result would be the same as if you did not receive them. The environment that we are in is very important. If your environment is not where God wants you to be, even if there are signs and wonders for you today, you will not be able to maintain it. Okay? Because you are at a job where God does not want you to do. Okay? Imagine if I bless you today, tomorrow you go back to the same circle of the beast. Okay? Going circle and circle in the ecosystem of the beast. Doing what God does not want you to do. There are many people... They say, man of God, uh, pray for my career breakthrough. I want double my salary. Okay, God may be asking you to get out of that job. But your prayer request is to, Lord, I want financial breakthrough, double my salary. Christ Jesus knew this. This is why he spent so much time on parables, teaching you and I. So I will know who to touch on one-on-one. -on -one. When I just look, at your video that you're showing, there is an indication that the Lord will put in my heart to talk to you. Blessed is the man who confessed Jesus Christ before all men, so that God in heaven will confess you before his angels. So Christianity is not private. If you keep it private because of your society or whatever, what kind of Christianity is that? Okay. There is no Western Christianity, there's no Asian Christianity, there's no Europe Christianity. Christianity is Christianity. So I will know who is looking at me as a, as a little boy talking. And I will know who is looking at me as a prophet that is talking to you. What have you seen on YouTube? That is enough to boost your faith. You went to Squan on the 2012th. On the 16th of December, you went to school. Man of God, my wife and I have court documents. That court documents is in the year of 2016. God will take care of it, no worry. So some of us in this room, they are partners of the Rod of Iron Church. Okay, so I want you to know that the church that you're supporting, we will not use your tithe to go and buy nice clothes for the pastor to wear. 10 of the YouTube videos that you see, this is the same clothes for half of it. <laughs> because I will not use what you give to God to feed myself. I have clothes and food, that is enough. The crusade, if I tell you the cost that is coming out at Kumba, you'll be amazed. Okay, we need to rent the whole garden. It's an open air crusade. 
thousands of chairs have to be rented. Okay, Jesus Christ, for three and a half years of his ministry, his clothes is still the same. His attitude is still the same. The manner he walk, never all of a sudden hands swing like this. Okay, is Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If you throw a basketball into a crowd of people, it is bound to hit one or two. If you say in front of a camera, be healed, be healed to hundreds of people, definitely one or two will say, okay, praise the Lord, I'm healed. But that praise the Lord, I'm healed may not be because of the prayer. It may be the medicine that he is taking. If you have the faith to cure headache, but you do not have the faith to cure the blind, it means that your faith to cure the headache is false. Because the gift of healing is the gift of healing. There is no lower gift of healing, higher gift of healing. No. If God wants to heal, he heals. It's not a matter of headache or blind people. If you have the faith to cure people's headache, but you do not have the faith to cure a blind man, it means that your faith is false. Because healing is healing. God does not need our permission to work. Hallelujah. Amen. It is written in the scriptures that the desert will be filled with pools of water. The wilderness, the parched land, the wasteland will be full of water. So now, here is the desert. Here is the wilderness. You are connected to me out of nowhere. And what do you go out to the wilderness to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No, they are in the palace. Or do you go to a church so that the pastor can be a king over you? To rule over you? No, the greater must be the humbled one. Jesus Christ came to serve us and not to be served. So who are we now holding the microphone to be served? No, the one holding the microphone should be the one serving you. The one sitting down in the church seats to hear the pastor talking. The pastor standing up holding a microphone should be the one serving those who are sitting down and not to rule over them. So this is a testimony. A li my life is a continuation of the life of what Christ Jesus lived like. 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. If you claim to believe in Christ, you must live a life like Jesus Christ. If we do not live a life like Christ Jesus, uh, even if today somehow you get the blessing, okay, it is only temporary. I have said it many times. The first step of the staircase is the word of God. The second step of the staircase is signs and wonders that you are desiring. If you somehow manage to get to step two without stepping on the first step of the staircase, which is the word of God, you will, you will not be able to maintain the signs and wonders that you receive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be free in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Okay, so uh, there are three of them. Yes, yes, prophet. There are two that are living with me in the house. But there are three. I see three. Yes, you are right. You have three children. Yes, prophet. Praise the living Jesus Christ. Uh, anybody can just say, spirit of drinking, come out of Pastor Mike Tadayo's children. No, prophecy is the evidence that prayer is taking place. Okay. So every little movement, every specific movement, we have to obey. Elisha, when he raised the son back to life, he put his mouth to the boy's mouth, his eyes to the boy's eyes, his hands to the boy's hands. Am I right? If he did not put his eye to eye, mouth to mouth, hand to hand, but if he just stand beside the dead boy, fire, fire, out, out, nothing will happen. We minister as the Holy Spirit wants us to minister. Yeah. You know, you have three children, but you did not tell me the gender. Okay, concerning the girl, one of your three children, there is this girl, which is the most, the one that is causing you the most trouble. This, this girl, okay, beginning in school, 
is not doing well. Now is also drinking and and living a a a worldly life outside of her house. Yeah, right, but yeah, right, prophet. Okay, I can see this girl, long hair. Yeah, right, prophet. So she is the one that the Lord will first strike on. <laughs> Brother Amado, those who stay by my side will not just keep on serving and serving. No. Uh, I must bring you to where God wants you to be also. Okay. You are where God wants you to be. That is my joy. John the Baptist's joy is where the people go to Jesus and not to him. Right? Amen. But now, the, the pastor's joy is when you come to him and not to Jesus. So there is an adult female that is so close to you, okay, that acts like your sister. Okay, in the name of Jesus Christ. So yes, prophet. The area of your private, your private part. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that I have pile. And that pile is causing me weak erection. It's called semi-weak erection. A weak erection. Yeah. And also a little of the back pain there. Yeah. So sometimes, yeah, most of the time I have back pain. Uh, I have said it <laughs> since last year. We must look at the body part where God wants us to look at. Some demon will not leave until we give the, the word of knowledge, the prophecy. So what do you believe, sir? You know, sometimes when prophecy is given, but if there's no faith, there will be no healing also. So, I believe because I don't live with you. I've never spoke to you. This is my first time of having a conversation with you. And I believe that for God to reveal it for you, I will be healed. It's over. Uh, according to your faith, you will be healed in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. So now is the vision. Uh, when I pray, uh, sometimes God will show me something to know how the healing is taking place. So now, right now, I am looking at the body part. So when it is healed, there will be an indication. So today, you will have a big erection. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Prophet. <laughs> Madam, there is, a, there is a mistake that you make. This is the cause of your sickness. There was a man that had a, had a quarrel. And that was, that was until the age of... 30, 30, 34. Yeah, that's right. No, that's no, right. you're right. Yes, you're right. No, got... Age of 34, you were talking about. That was when the father of the children uh, started seeing the children, like there was peace. There was that peace. Is, okay, so I say Jesus. this one happened until the age of 34 for Madam. Yes. Yes. Take note of the word until the age of 34. You know, right now, the, the spiritual atmosphere is already set already. Okay. Find the name of Jesus Christ, I say. Speak out. Who are you inside of her? Who are you? Who are you inside of her in Jesus Christ's name? Who are you? I pray. You have a name. Who are you? I'm a husband. I married her when she was young. So in practice, I've been almost this is the third year now. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, in my prophecy, when said, there's a... you have to pray for your stomach. This is three years. Okay, there is a matter bothering you for three years now. I I need prayer for my kids. I have two that's having problems. So there is this boy and boys and girls with you. Yes. Three, three girls and one boy. So you say you want prayer for your two children. You know your two children, it could be both of them are boys or it could be both of them are girls. Okay. All right. So this is just to let you know that God sees you right. concerning your prayer request, that they can say out what the gender of your children and all that. Yes. This is a plate of food that you have eaten. Oh. And that one is the one that has been causing you troubles. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus Christ. And in the name of has, Jesus Christ, I pray. She has one. So the boy that you are with now is tall, skinny. Yes. Yeah. When you stand beside him, 
He is one head taller than you. Oh my god, thank you. No. Concerning your marriage, that man eh, that you're with, that is the man that I'm yeah. talking about. The two of you are already together. This is the man. Okay, when you stand beside him, he's a head taller than you. He's skinny. He's tall. Yes. You're asking me concerning marriage, but I see the two of you already together.